right guys, this is Cindy A. Lewis and welcome to my channel. This project is actually multiple projects where I'm going to show you how to make some Christmas decor um, picture frames. And we're going to use picture frames from the Dollar Tree. Now you can do a lot of things. As you can see in my previous video, I repurposed a wall hanging that I had. But these are from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to make um, some de some decor to go for our Christmas. And we're going to use um, a couple of gift bags. We're going to use the little mousse that I picked up I showed you in my last haul from Dollar Tree. We're going to use a sticker that I picked up in a haul from Hobby Lobby at half price. So these were like $1.25. They're really cute. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to use these, but we're going to use some more uh, reindeer. Well, this is a reindeer, not a moose. And we're going, we could possibly use some wording, but I'm not sure if we're going to use that. I also have, for my backing, I have some material. And then I'm making use of this plaid tidings um, paper pack that I picked up from Hobby Lobby at half price. So, let's get started. The first frame I'm going to show you is this one that I picked up that's gold. This is a 3x5 frame and I'm going to open it and cover the back with some paper from my plaid book. Okay, there are multiple ways to cut your paper. You can trace it, you can cut it out, but just for the sake of time, I'm just going to use the blade from the Dollar Tree and make sure I'm using the back of the cardboard from the photo frame. And making sure that I've got that. So here is my picture. I don't know if I want to leave the mat in there, so I think I'm going to take the mat out and maybe use it for another project. Now what I do want to do is take the glass out. Now I'm going to adhere this paper to my <coughs> cardboard. Um, I think I'm going to adhere it to this part. And I'm going to remove this. Now I'm going to use double stick tape to adhere my paper. You can use glue if you like. You can use um, something strong. You don't want to use um, stick glue. Maybe tacky glue, but for the sake of time and this strong double stick tape, this is the basic double stick tape, I am going to use that to adhere my paper because even though this isn't very heavy, it is still a little bit heavy. So I'm going to pull my, make sure my Double stick tape is adhered and then remove the, the uh, cover. Okay, now that I've got my paper adhered to my back of my frame piece. You can see that that is looks really nice. Now I'm going to take my glass and put it in backwards. I think I might stick this in just for protection of the glass. Alright. I'm going to bend these down. Pull the piece down. And there's plenty of lip to hang it. Or you can put something here to make it stand if you want to. Alright, so now I've got my 
ornament and I'm going to cut the, the tag off the side where I want it on the picture. I'm going to have to look at it. And then I'm going to make my 3D ornament. Now one thing you want to do is make sure that you always have your um, plaids straight because you don't want it to be crooked. Alright, so this is number one. For the next picture, I want to use this vintage bicycle. So this is a gift bag from Dollar, Tree, uh, Dollar Spot at Target. And one side is bent and it has the red, but this side is not. So I'm going to cut this out and put it in my frame. Now this is a 5x7 frame and I am going to open that and I'm going to use, again, I'm going to use the cardboard to make sure that I have cut this to fit and I can use, this one has a mat, but I'm going to take the mat out. And now I need to make sure that my bicycle fits. Now I can take this ribbon out or I can leave it in. I can make a bow here at the top or whatever I want. But I'm going to see how this looks first. So let's give this a cut. Okay, now I'm going to put my, my picture in here and see how it looks. Now, I really don't want it to have the holes, so I think I'm going to cover those. So, you might not choose this, but I have some bows from the Dollar Tree. They're glittery and really cute. So, I'm going to take a couple of red bows and put it at the top. Now since there is a twisty tie on the back of these bows, I'm just going to beat it through the hole and then I'm going to tape down the twisty tie as flat as possible with just regular scotch tape so that it will stay in place behind the frame. And that's all I'm going to do. And I think that's going to add some color. And the red that I'm going with is my main theme this year, which I usually do red. Don't do a lot of silver or blue, but occasionally I'll do something in one room. So I think that looks really cute. I'm debating about the debating about the glass but we'll see I'll put it together and see if I like it or not so I'm going to put the frame on and see how it turns out the ribbon's really high at the top but I think that's okay and it looks adorable so picture number two picture number three is this adorable our, our truck with a Christmas tree with a scenic uh, 
Christmas farm background, really, or woodsy background. I love this bag. Um, and so I'm going to cut this to fit in an 8x10 frame. And again, I will probably take that matting out. Oop, so you've got some kind of glare going on. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and shake that plastic off and get busy. Okay, now what I want to do is trim up these edges, and I want to make it fit in this frame. Probably don't need this part, so I'm going to measure it with the piece that came out. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas appears to fit, which is really nice, and it's metallic, so that's nice. So I'm going to use my straight edge here to cut this really quickly so that we're not having to wait through scissors. So cut that off. And turn this here. Um, I'm just using a cutting pad underneath. This is a slice pad. You may have seen those before. They have different ones. Um, it's a really nice glass, um, and it has the measurements on it and everything, which is real nice if you need that. It is a 12 by 12, which is also nice, especially with scrapbooking and crafting. All right, so we have cut our picture. Again, we've got holes up here, which I'm not too crazy about those holes. But let's see how it fits in here. And it is really adorable. And I'm almost not too worried about those. I wish I had silver. Okay. I think I'm going to leave those for now. And I'm going to put this over in case I decide to hang it. I'm going to turn this down, and that is number three. Really cute. Try not to get you in the light reflection. I'll take some pictures and put them at the end. So, picture number three. Okay, so I'm going to pick some plaid that is um, kind of light. Um, like this one to fit in the background of this frame that is a 5x7. So I'm going to remove that. As you can see, this goes really fast. And you can choose if plaid is not your theme this year. You can choose any colors that you um, like. So this is going to fit pretty well, I think. We're going to try it. <clears throat> All right. So we've got our picture. Now, what I wanted to put on this was the... Just drop my scissors. The stickers here. Of this mood. And I just want to put one. I just want it to be very simple, and I'm going to put it this way. So I'm going to take out my stickers. I'm going to remove one. And to be honest with you, it's just going to, and be very careful removing these, because they will tear. You may want to um, when you lay them 
on your paper. You want to go These are very delicate. All right. So I just want a very simple deer in the middle of this. So So, and I could put something else. I don't know if I got that too right. Take these off a little bit. Let me make sure. Okay, we have a very forgiving sticker, and doing it upside down is really kind of hard. So I'm going to measure. So we have eight and a half, so four and a quarter. And then we have six and three quarters, so three. So about right here. And then I think I'd really like to have Merry Christmas or something down here, so I have, have that in gold, so I'm going to use this sticker, let's see if we can make that, we can get it open. And one thing you might want to do too is just work with things until they are exactly what you want them to look like because sometimes they may um, take a little bit of playing with it to see if it's exactly what you want. Um, like these stickers are very um, delicate. I want to make sure that I'm not tearing up my letters. And it's coming out pretty easily. Okay. It's kind of sticky. Okay, so we've got our Merry Christmas. And I'm going to use the line as my guide. Now you could do it any way you want it. And you don't even have to use words. You can do it just the moose or deer. Sorry, you're calling a moose, not a moose. It's a reindeer. Anyway, I think I like that. Merry Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glass in there. Put my back in. I'm going to go ahead and put this cardboard for stability since this is kind of a shadow thing. And we have number four. There is one more I want to show you, and I will do that by 14 frame from the Dollar Tree. And this is a piece of fabric that I have. Um, I believe this is the buffalo plaid, and I'm going to use a Dollar Tree star to make a 3D picture. So I'm going to open up the frame, 
hope I'm giving you some good ideas. And if you don't like plaid, that's fine. Um, use holiday traditional, use gold, use farmhouse, use um, contemporary colors. You just, there are so many options that you have to use. Wow, that's a lot of this. I guess the Dollar Tree, some of these frames are older. So let me get this one open. And if you have trouble, you can always glue your frame in. And that's not a problem. Alright. The back of the frame people don't normally see unless you're selling it. Alright, so I'm going to take the glass out. So remove that very carefully and if you are young, get a parent's help with that. Okay, so you have your picture frame. Now I am going to leave it black because it is going to go with my material. So I'm going to take my, my piece that was in the back and I'm going to cover this. Now, um, I would normally maybe use double stick tape or whatever, but I have my glue gun all set and ready. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just gonna layer on the glue and then I'm gonna lay my fabric over it this way and I'm going from the middle to the edge. And the glue does dry pretty quickly, so you want to make sure you get all your wrinkles out and it be cockeyed. All right, so we've adhered our plaid now. Now we're going to adhere our star. And I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna dab some glue to the points because it is 3D. And it is off the page, off the, uh, not the page, the background. So I'm going to do that really quickly. I'm just going to put some glue on each of the points. I'm trying to do it move quickly because hot glue will dry fast. This is my point for the top, and I want about that much. So now I'm going to push down my points. If it does warm, it does come through. Alright, now that I have my picture in, I'm going to put my frame back on around it. And if I need to, and remember it is a 3D. So you may have to work with it a little bit to get your um, picture in there. If you need to glue it in to make sure it's secure, go ahead and do that. I may do that just to make sure because some of these um, brads are weak. Oh, I don't know, maybe okay. This side seems to be a little bit and get a little more glue here. Do remember that you have um, a 3D picture in there, and we're just going to put some glue here on this edge, and I'm going to hold it down so that that glue can dry. If you want to get rid of these little spider webs from your glue, just take a dryer and blow them off. All right. Okay, on this one, I am not going to put the glass frame in the background because of the material being so thick, I don't really need it to hold the picture in. But as you can see, that's number five. So we have this one that we created tonight. This one. We have our Merry Christmas dear. 
we have our bicycle and we have our 3D reindeer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will give a picture of all of these at the end. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, go ahead and subscribe so that you have a notification whenever I'm going to post another video. And I really appreciate you uh, joining me tonight. Also, I did another large repurposed hall, hall, wall hanging. Uh, this should be a blooper video, right? Anyway, <laughs> um, I did that one and I will post that at the end and also I will post the link to how to make that. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas.